the conversations that I had here today in Beirut and the ones that I had yesterday in Israel, both are being conducted because the situation is serious. We have seen an escalation over the last few weeks. And what President Biden wants to do is to avoid a further escalation to a greater war. But let me be clear. The conflict along the blue line between Israel and Hezbollah has gone on for long enough. Innocent people are dying. Property is damaged, families are shattered, and the Lebanese economy continues to decline. The country is suffering for no good reason. It's in everyone's interest to resolve it quickly and diplomatically. The deal that President Biden outlined on May 31 would provide for the release of hostages, an immediate ceasefire, and ultimately the end of the conflict in Gaza. This proposal has been accepted by Israel, endorsed by Qatar and Egypt, the mediators, the G7, and the United Nations Security Council. The deal stops the war in Gaza. It lays out the schedule for the withdrawal of forces. If that's what Hamas wants, they should just say yes and accept it. Shukran. Shukran. Shukran.